So here's a question about a wall plaque which has curves for its boundaries and we're given the various formula for these the graphs of these curves. And we're asked to find the x-coordinate first of the point of intersection of the graphs with equation y equals f of x. That's this one here. And y equals g of x. Now they're both parts of a parabola. But they certainly intersect at this point here, which we have to find. We'll find the x coordinate, this value here. So to do that, we'll set the two function formula equal to each other. So we'll solve f of x equals g of x. When is the value of f of x equal to g of x? So we'll find a value for x that has the same value when it's put into this formula and this formula. And that will get us that point of intersection. So f of x is 1 quarter of x squared minus a half x plus 3. And that has to be equal to 1 quarter x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 5. Let's first of all take a quarter x squared from both sides. That'll leave us negative a half x plus 3 equals negative 3 halves x plus 5. And before we do anything else, let's just multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of these fractions. So twice a half is 1, so that will be negative 1x. Twice 3 is 6. Twice negative 3 over 2 is negative 3. 2 cancels off. So that's negative 3x. And twice 5 is 10. So let's add 3x to both sides. That'll be 3x onto a negative x. That's 2x. And this will vanish. And let's at the same time take 6 from both sides. 10 minus 6 is 4. So 2x equals 4. Therefore, x equals 2. So we know that that x value there is 2. When we put 2 in there, this value is a quarter of 2 squared, it's a quarter of 4 is 1, minus a half of 2, that's 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 3. That side will come to the same as when we put 2 into this side. There's 2 squared, quarter of 2 squared, quarter of 4 is 1 again, minus 3 halves of 2, that's minus 3, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, plus 5 is 3, which is what we got on the left hand side. So that's our answer to part A. Now let's have a look at part B. The graphs of f of x and h of x intersect on the y-axis. Uh, the plaque has a vertical line of symmetry. <coughs> which we now know has equation x equals 2. And we're asked to calculate the area of the wall plaque. So that's the area between these two curves doubled because of the symmetry. Whatever this area is in the left, it will be identical to the mirror image of it on the right of the line x equals 2. So we have to find this. Now, integration of the curve y equals f of x, integration of f of x between 0 and 2 will give us the area below this red curve all the way down to the x-axis. And from that, we would have to take away the area below this purple curve, which is y equals h of x. So this area under that curve has to be taken away from the whole area under the red curve. So we'll subtract the area, the integral 0 to 2 will give us this area, 
of h of x. And it'll be a lot easier to do this if we do the subtraction of these formula and then integrate. So we'll have the integral from 0 to 2 of f of x, which is 1 quarter of x squared minus a half x plus 3, that's the red curve, minus the whole of h of x. That's minus this, minus this, minus this. So it's minus 3 eighths of x squared, minus the negative 9 quarters x, so that's plus 9 quarters x, and then minus this 3. And we have to integrate all of that. So let's try and simplify this first. So there's 2 eighths of x squared minus 3 eighths of x squared. That'll give us minus 1 eighth of x squared, or x squared over 8. The x terms minus a half x, or minus 2 quarters x, plus 9 quarters x would give us 7 quarters of x. And then a 3 minus a 3, that just vanishes. So there's what our integral consists of. We're integrating the expression negative x squared over 8, and we're integrating the expression 7x over 4. So let's do that integration. X Integrating x squared, increase the index, 2 goes up to 3, and then divide by that new index. So it joins the 8 on the bottom of that fraction. So it'll be an 8 and times a 3. So there's x squared integrated x cubed over 3, joining the 8 at the bottom, plus 7x and there's really a 1 there for an index, so that increases to 2, divided by that new index, so it joins the 4 on the bottom. And that has to be evaluated between 0 and 2. So we have minus x cubed over 24 plus 7x squared over 8 between 0 and 2. So we must evaluate the whole expression at 2 and subtract what we get when we evaluate it at 0. So let's put 2 in there. It's be minus 2 cubed over 24 plus 7 times 2 squared over 8. And from that, we have to subtract. Well, this will just be 0 cubed and 0 squared, this whole thing is going to be 0. So that's an easy evaluation, that second part. So 2 cubed is 8. So minus 8 over 24. 4 sevens are 28 over 8. Now that first fraction... 8 into 8 is 1, 8 into 24 is 3, so we've got minus a third, and then there's a bit of cancelling. 4 into 28, 4 sevens are 28, and 4 into 8 goes 2, so it's 7 over 2. So we'll change both of these into sixths, that's 2 sixths, negative 2 sixths, plus 21 over 6. And 2 from 21 is 19. So it's 19 over 6 for the area between these two curves. So the required area, remember we said it was double that. So the required area equals twice 19 over 6, which is 19 over 3. So that's 6 and 1 third units squared.